This channel is mainly about fitness and fitness equipment, but I did a video a few weeks ago about the Garmin Dashcam 67W because it's a Garmin product and I have it on my truck. It's proved to be quite a popular video, so thank you for that. I did get a comment though this morning that came through from somebody saying that they have a Garmin Dashcam, I don't know which model, but they said that they can't find any of the files because all the files seem to be broken up amongst all these different folders on the memory card and how could they possibly sort them out? So rather than type a great long response, I decided I'd just do a short video that explains how the Garmin dash cams sort all their files and folders on the SD card in the camera and that might help that person and may help somebody else too. So I've taken the micro SD card out of the camera and I've just put it into my Mac and then I see here two folders. Okay, I see the Garmin folder and I see the DCIM. Now DCIM is pretty widespread these days. I think it actually stands for Digital Camera Image, which is quite boring really, but anyway, I think that's what DCIM stands for. Uh, in the Garmin folder here, there's just um, there's just an XML file, which I think the, the Garmin itself uses, nothing to look at in there. If you look in the DCIM folder though, this is what the question was about today. I've got event, photo, saved, um, this is parking guard, this is time-lapse, and this is unsaved, where are my videos and how can I find my videos? So we're just gonna run through each of those. I'm gonna start with the bottom one because probably that's the one that if I explain that, then the logic of everything else kind of makes a bit more a bit more sense. So let's have a look here. Okay, so the unsaved videos, and I have a whole bunch of them, look, going back to today is what, June 13th? So June the 8th, I've got a whole bunch, and they're all around 167, 160, 167 megabytes in size. Um, there's also the the the, um, the GLV file. You just just ignore that. You don't need to do anything with that. But you can see here that I've got a whole bunch going right up to yesterday, 650 yesterday. So the dash cam is saving everything constantly from the time you turn the camera on to the time you turn it off. It's recording video, and if you've got it activated, it's recording audio as well. But it's recording videos that it doesn't necessarily know that you want. So it saves them in this folder, which is uh, UNSVD, which is short for unsaved. What that means is this will keep recording, keep recording, keep recording, and it will put them into blocks. When the memory card is full, it will start overwriting this data. That's fine in the case of unsaved videos. But now we understand that folder and the logic of how that folder works. Let's have a look at some of the other folders here. Okay, and the first one is the event folder up here. Something will go into the event folder if an event is triggered by the sensors on the dash cam. And a typical event example would be a collision. What it will then do is it will then take whatever it was recording that would normally have gone into unsaved, and it would then classify that as an event. A folder, a file in other words, that you are very likely to want to keep. It will save those in this folder here in the event folder. They are then protected. They will not be overwritten unless you delete those files manually, such as in a computer, or you format the card. But apart from that, the camera is not going to overwrite those files. Photo here, and I do have a few photos in here because I think I, actually, I don't remember taking all these photos, but Maybe I took them when I was doing the video a few weeks ago. This is literally when you press the button on the side of the dash cam that says Garmin take a photo and it will take a photo for you of whatever that dash cam is looking at. Why you want to do that, put it in the comments. I'm really curious. I did it purely to demonstrate the capability for the review video I did a few weeks ago. But really, I don't really see why else you would use a dash cam uh, to, take, to take photographs out of the windshield. Photo will not be overwritten. So once you've taken a photograph, it goes in that folder, same as with for events. It will not be overwritten unless you delete it or you format the card. Let's come on to saved then. And this is where, and I don't have anything in saved actually. This is where you have said, save this video. And you've manually done that. And you've done that by pressing one of the buttons on the side of the dash cam. It's you, say, you saying, I like that video. Something funny happened in front of me or I was following someone I know or anything, I don't know, same with the photos. If you've got a use for this, please let me know in the comments. If you are stopped for any reason by a law enforcement officer, hopefully a collision event is not included in that. So let's assume for the moment you didn't have a collision with the law enforcement officer or his vehicle or her vehicle, but you've decided you want to save that video because you want to make sure that you have got a copy of whatever audio was said or perhaps there was something happening in front of the vehicle, the officer standing in front of the vehicle, and you want to capture that. Press the button on the side of the dash cam and you can select save that video and it will put it into this folder. The next one here is parking guard and I have quite a few in parking guard and the reason for that is my garage is like two inches longer than my truck. 
So I have a big thick foam pad at the front of my garage. So if I just nudge it slightly, I know I'm in the garage and I can shut the door behind me, but it usually triggers the parking guard. So I have lots and lots of parking guard videos of the bikes hanging at the front of my garage. That's that's all that is. So I have quite a few of those. And then the last folder here is time lapse and I don't have a time lapse to show you, so I can't do that. But I think I did a time lapse for the last video and this dash cam can do some very capable time lapses. They will be saved in there. If you really want to have everything in chronological order and the comment that came in today was my my videos are spread across a whole bunch of different folders. I don't understand why. I just want to see them all in chronological order or worse that effect then simply take your videos and put them in a separate folder and then rank them in order of date and time and then you've got what you want. But I think the key thing here is this Garmin is constantly recording and without you having to touch it, it will overwrite files that it thinks are unimportant. So I hope that's useful. If so, please like and subscribe. If you've got any comments or feedback or thoughts on this, please put some in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.